Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin and today we are continuing the series Learn One Thing A Day. Um, today is still going to be on Final Cut Pro and, and by the way, we are not limited to Final Cut Pro. I'm a little bit vast in most editing softwares, um, so it could switch up, so don't tag this channel and find a couple channel and I'll talk to you some other time about learning all these you know editing softwares it, it comes in handy maybe that will be a topic of it so but for now we're gonna be handling how to convert or upscale your 1080p into 4k coming up But the question is, why would you want to upscale to 4K? Why not just shoot in 4K? Now, most of these cameras don't have the perfect uh, bitrate. Most of the high-end cameras, even this uh, FS5, it's, you know, the the 1080p are usually the strongest in, in terms of um, uh, 422 bitrate. You, if you shoot 4K on, on the Sony FS5 Mark II, you will be recording 4K alright, but it's it's in 420, not 422. So um, the color, you know, quality will be very strong or, or a lot stronger or richer on the 1080p and 1080p mark. So um, a lot of people like to shoot 1080p. The only way to get um, 4K at uh, 422 on this uh, camera will be to um, get an external monitor like the Atomos Shinobi, um, like the Atomos uh, recorder. You could capture the 4 B, 4, uh, 4K 422 externally uh, on this camera on that device. Okay, so that's the way you could get that same quality. Um, but for some people, even though they have a uh, the external monitor they still record in 1080p because it's just easier or less less fag you know it takes less um, space on your file drives and stuff like that so um, there are many reasons why a lot of people will want to shoot in 1080p and then upload to 4k but i have my methods i always try to do something like picture profile correction like color correction or you know um, white balance. I try to do something, even if it's just to um, denoise a little bit. Something on the 1080p as I upgrade to 4K. I think. I think it's just my own. I think it gives it even a better result. You know, whatever you need to do on the 1080p, already do on uh, work on it on the 4K timeline, and then export it just it's like it becomes more comfortable and stays you know it's like if you if you color correct in 1080p and upscale to 4k it re, it re, um, i think it, it drops the picture in my opinion from my observation it, the picture drops um, so you might want to um, correct on it 4k line timeline and then export now break it down what i do uh, since i'm already capturing this screen let me just uh, go ahead and take a clip um, which is like this one okay i'll drag it to the timeline i hope it's a small clip two gig not so, not so bad okay so um now you now if you watch here you see that it, it needs to render it needs to render now i i don't like to i don't like to work this way it's gonna slow me down what i do is since my computer is pretty since my computer is pretty fast um what i do is um i don't wait for it to render now this is what it's gonna do now see it's showing it's paused but here it's gonna render it's trying to render um the background and it will take some time to render before you can work on it and it might be coming up every now and then so what I do 
even even before I start um, editing, I just uh, for example, if I need to do color correction on this, let me just drag. Uh, if I need to work on the picture a little bit, add contract or something, because usually you see the picture is usually very fine from the from the FS5. This is a 1080p ATP shoot and you know the image is rich and all that so i'm going to just uh, get my effects uh, window open and uh, effects and go to let's say i want to work with magic bullet which of course i have the complete suit um, i go with looks and let's see all right let's see and then we yeah don't i mean it doesn't you don't have to have mag magic bullet but i just want to work on the picture let me keep the audio uh, so let's click and enter magic bullet now because i need to render i could do one or two things you know um um, I do usually don't wait for the render. This is what I do. Let's say, for example, I need to work on this, and usually I just add uh, exposure, contrast. Let me just play with, mess around with this exposure. Let me take uh, contrast and um, saturation. Okay, I just um, the picture is already okay. Let me just uh, try to act like I'm doing something that's important. Okay. All right, let me just something that's different whatever the case may be I just um, when you are satisfied with your picture um, we get out of there now this is our new because I know I'm going to export all the same I'm going to uh, render all the same and I don't want to wait for the rendering I'll just uh, do like the color grading and now I export I export uh, it's waiting for it's still importing the file you know but uh, what I do is now is I export straight up to my hard disk and then name it give it a name go let me check one more time if it's ready all right so this is ready as you can see it is uh, it is a uh, 4k 3840 by 2160 um, don't forget the original file is 1080p. We'll put it on the 4K timeline and now we are exporting to 4K for real so that the render will go away. Um, and I just did my picture correction, um, like, you know, color correction. So we're going to call this file, um, what do we call it now? Um, 1080p, 10. 1080 upscaling upscaling I guess the capitals upscaling 1080 P to 4k okay so let's put that on our hard disk and we have that exporting right now you know might not be the best way but I usually just send them off um, some of the files are some of the files like if I'm shooting with the black magic uh, pocket for um, if I'm shoot, shooting with the black magic raw bro um, I use the Da Vinci for the color for whatever color you know correction or you know uh, balancing I need to do on that I I use the um, um, DaVinci Resolve so I could go over to DaVinci Resolve if I shot it in with the black magic camera I go over to DaVinci Resolve and there I do the uh, color correction plus the upscale so it all really depends on where you're working at and now I, when I upscale it when I upscale the job I can delete this one when it's done okay let's see it's almost done okay when it's done I can delete this one 
I can just delete this one from timeline. Um, when it's done, I'll delete this from timeline and um, and import the other one. Even sometimes you get the export ready when rendering is still going on here. So at that point, I don't need it to render again completely. Uh, of course, if you have some effects, if you have effects um, transition in there, it might not go well um, when you don't allow it to render. So I don't do all those um, editing, like putting transitions and effects or stuff at this point. What I do is, as soon as I put it on the timeline, 1080p on 4K timeline, I do one or two corrections. So if it doesn't need um, a color correction or um, what's the white balancing or something like that or a denoising, I just put it there, do whatever, tweak, just a little tweak I have to do and then export it into true 4K and then bring it back and I, and I work, have a smooth editing you know, process with the 4K files so it's already saying it as a 4K file and I edit with that I don't have render problems and all that and it's a quick edit that's the bottom line of this so we're done for today that's it one thing a day today how to upscale 1080p to 4K and if you have any questions don't forget don't fail to ask you could put it in the comments below and um, yeah i'll be glad to attend to that so i guess i'll see you tomorrow that's what it's gonna be for now don't forget to wash your hands and stay safe and healthy bye